Today's gonna be a different kind of video. What do you mean different? Every video is different, Brian. Wouldn't that make it normal? Anyway, two blowers, one here, $25 US shipped to your door internationally, which would make it like 30 something Australian dollars. This one here, you can get it off Amazon for I believe 93 US dollars. Uh, in Australia, it's a little bit more expensive because it is made in the US and in the UK as well. I think it's 150 Australian, 100 quid if you're in the UK, mate. Anyway, before we get on with the video, this one here, it does indeed feel like 25 bucks. You're just getting plastic and a motor. This one here, you're getting a pretty good solid build quality. It's all metal, it feels proper. The attachments as well are another big thing about this. It's got the proper attachments, so I'm curious to see how the results will play out. But also with this, I mean, come on, what is this? I get an anti-static wrist rest with this. If you guys don't know, this is... Out, just get out of my house, cursed the. Yeah. And let the testing begin. First off, we have here a dirty case. Everything's dirty and it's got a massive jungle sandwich. So I think we should clean up this jungle sandwich first before we conduct the test. So the initial results are in and they both did a pretty good job. The Datavac and the eBay Banger. Uh, you can see here that fan, the Intel heatsink, that had a lot of dust on it. Now it's actually pretty clean on both counts. However, there was a difference in my opinion and that was when I was cleaning this graphics card down. The left hand side was the Datavac and there was dust blowing out. But then on the right side we had the eBay Banger. And the proof kind of came when the eBay Banger was blowing over this left hand side. There was no dust going away but when we were blowing on the right hand side. You could see that the Datavac was taking away some of the eBay bangers dust. So it does do a better job. You could definitely feel the power and even hear it as well. Next up here is my daily driver of a keyboard. You can see there, ooh, look at all that filth. I mean, this thing is filthy. We are gonna do half the keyboard with the Datavac, half the keyboard with the eBay Banger. So the second result is in, this is my creative keyboard and this was where the biggest difference came in my opinion. Uh, the Datavac did a phenomenal job. You could even see hair just flying out of this keyboard. I was surprised at actually how dirty my keyboard was. I didn't realize until I started cleaning it. The uh, eBay Banger, that did an okay job. I mean, it was blowing out the dust, but there was still hair caught in, especially up here in the corner. There was hair caught in that the, the Banger couldn't remove but the um, Datavac did. You can see the hair blow out at the end. So I definitely give the victory here to the Datavac. And if you were into cleaning a lot of keyboards, I'd say that the eBay banger just doesn't hold up because if you're cleaning a keyboard for someone and there's still hair stuck in there, that's not really a good result. And now for the last and final test. This is the Corsair Air 740. And this dust filter is just almost impossible to quickly remove. You've got to literally do all these weird difficult screws then you gotta take the whole front panel off and get the dust filter out it's my only complaint with the air 740 other than that i love this case it's my favorite case of all time uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do half and half again left side data vac and sort of do it on different angles so this panel half and half this panel half and half and then of course the insides as well let the show begin
So here's the test on my main Air 740 and the top part, since it's an outtake, it's, there was really no dust to begin with, but they both did a good job. The front of the case, they both did a really good job too, except the Datavac did remove more dust. Uh, you can see down the bottom here where the eBay banger uh, was blowing it, there's still a little bit of dust left in there. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean down the final interior here of this case with the eBay banger and then see the result and then go over it with the data vac and see how much extra we can remove. But when we contrast the eBay banger to the data vac, what you're getting with the banger is something that will do a pretty good job of cleaning. I mean, it does get out a lot of dust, except what it doesn't do is it doesn't give you that final touch. So if you're a PC parts hustler, or you're just building a lot of computers, or even if you love your PC build and you don't wanna spend like a day pulling out the dust filters, especially like on the S740, then something like the data vac will give you that final touch. It will remove all the visible dust and so the last final touch you have to do is just give it a layer of WD-40, which is what we're gonna do now. So there it is there after copying multiple hits with the blowers and then getting a WD-40 clean. It is looking really good. Something like this, if you didn't have to record and film like I did, something like this would honestly take you 10 minutes tops. And the results speak for themselves. Your computer is now looking really damn clean with minimal effort. But of course there is one more test to do and that is the raw power versus raw power on these two puppies here. So let's do it. So we saw there with the blocks of wood, this one managed to push over three blocks of wood and this one managed to push over two blocks of wood. It almost got the third. So this one would have a little bit more power than the red one. Uh, of course, it's not four times the amount of power as the price, but there's one final test left to do, and that is the hairdryer test. Girl, you know we're trying our best to be a success. We're living our life trying to clean up the mess cause I'm stuck in this road in day out. Thoughts come in, but nothing comes out. I'm still trying to feel on top. Wishing all the shit would just come to a stop. So in conclusion, both will do a mighty fine job of cleaning out computer parts and also giving you a new hairdo as well. So, USA. but ultimately what we've got is one that does a pretty good job for $25 and one that does a really good job for $93. Or if you're in Australia, 35 Australian dollars or 150 Australian dollars. But really when it comes down to it, it depends on how much you're cleaning your PC parts. If you're gonna be using this thing day in, day out, then I would recommend using the data vac and spending the extra money. But if you're only cleaning your PC occasionally, then the $25 job is gonna do a pretty good job too. It's just that final touch. For me personally, when I'm cleaning machines, it means that I'll have to use less brake cleaner now uh, because this stuff's in Australia, it's pretty expensive. In Japan, it was really cheap. It was about $1.50 a can. In Australia, it's like literally six, five or six dollars a can. So it's gonna be able to save a bit of brake cleaner. Of course, I will still need my brake cleaner when it comes to things like cleaning out GPU dies, taking off Northbridge heat sinks, and then cleaning the uh, dirty heat sinks behind there, and also getting in really sort of in between capacitors and cleaning out dust in there. Brake clean is still gonna be very useful for that. And of course, that WD-40, that's gonna be giving your products a new look shine. So this is ultimately another tool in my Cernal that is going to be very valuable for getting you guys 
those used potatoes and making them look like they're new. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below. Have you tried either of these products before? If so, what did you think? I'll put the links in the description below for you guys and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Given you a new hairdo as well. So what we've got uh, ultimately... <laughs> But what we've got, um... I'm the... I see it!